Tesla dominates the electric car market. And with well over a million cars on the roads today, it's no surprise that supply is struggling to keep up with demand. With factories across the world, including the United States, China and Germany, the automaker is growing day by day. But there's something strange going on. Join us as we delve into what Project Bobcat could mean for the future of the company and where it stands today. A 150-acre plot of land was recently purchased by Colorado River Project, a subsidiary of Tesla that acts on the company's behalf, helping to stall public interest in what Tesla will do next. This is the same company that purchased the plot of land that later went on to house the Gigafactory in Texas, which is responsible for the production of the Model 3, Model Y, Cybertruck and the upcoming Semi. Between Tesla and the various different names it works alongside, 2,500 acres of land in the Austin, Texas area are dedicated to the company car manufacturer. The new plot of land is almost directly connected to the existing factory's footprint. But while it may measure 150 acres in surface area, only some 97 or so acres will be dedicated, if at all, to any sort of factory. This is because local rules stipulate that impermeable ground coverage should be capped at 65% of the site of any plot. This includes things like paving, buildings and car parks. The remaining 35% should allow the free drainage of rainwater, all in a bid to alleviate the environmental impact in the event of a flood or heavy rainfall. Site plans and environmental plans have all been submitted and are pending approval, but there's no information regarding the site's intended use or what the facility's function may be, or at least that is publicly available. While there may be no confirmation, there is plenty of speculation at least. According to a quote from the Austin Business Journal, documents recently filed with the city of Austin indicate Tesla Inc. plans another facility on its land in eastern Travis County. There aren't too many details about what the facility would be used for, and project representatives either declined to comment or could not be reached by publication time. But a site plan filed April 30th for Tesla's Bobcat project points to another industrial building rising off Harold Green Road near the company's $1.1 billion gigafactory. The most plausible speculation considers the use of themes. Possibly taking inspiration from Lithium Ion's shortened nickname Lie Ion, which looks remarkably similar to the big cat that roams the plains of Africa, this theory suggests that Tesla uses big cat-themed code names for projects relating to batteries. It has previously done this, whereby Giga Nevada was known for a short spell as Project Tiger. Among other things, this factory produces battery packs for the company's electric cars. Adding to the list of reasons why this could be the answer is that Tesla is openly known for wanting to control its entire supply chain in an effort to reduce costs and maximize profits, which includes manufacturing batteries. Could Project Bobcat, the nickname for this latest expansion of land, be the start of something big? Said to represent a paradigm shift in automotive energy storage, Tesla's 4680 battery aims to change our perception of electric cars and eliminate fears such as range anxiety. Its tabless design means increased energy density and an improved power to weight ratio. It's also a simpler battery to manufacture, allowing production to ramp up as more drivers turn to electric vehicles. Tesla expects to see a shortage of batteries as soon as 2022, a year in which it estimates production to be around 100 gigawatt hours. Rather than ceasing all work with its current partners like Panasonic and LG, it expects to manufacture its own own batteries alongside these companies. With an annual growth of around 40 to 50 percent, the company expects battery production requirements to be around 3 terawatt hours by 2030. That's 3,000 gigawatt hours if we were to use the same unit as the 2022 projection. To break that down into terms you may be familiar with in day-to-day -day electric motoring, that's 3 billion kilowatt hours. You get the point. Producing most of its batteries in-house is great, but which house? Rumour suggests that Project Bobcat could indeed be part of this process of moving moving towards a controlled production line. This seems most likely, but Tesla's CEO has other plans for the area too. Musk has previously said that the Austin, Texas site would be an ecological paradise, a public park open to visitors in an area adjacent to the Colorado River. He envisions a riverside boardwalk with space for hiking and cycling trails, along with birds in the trees, butterflies and fish in the stream. Along with the obvious environmental benefits, being open to the public will undoubtedly help people's mental health in the area too, and could even attract visitors particularly those who are fans of the company and its eco-credentials. This would be a move similar to the Apple Park, the Googleplex, and Chinese automaker Neo's recent adventure into the eco-park world with its Neo Park, a 16,950-acre plot of land with function areas, living spaces, and green spaces. While the real intentions behind Project Bobcat are uncertain, what we do know is that Tesla is planning some pretty big changes in the near future. In less than a decade, we will have seen the company strengthen its ventures and boosting its eco-credentials with spaces 
areas such as the proposed park area, which could be the first of many. On top of this, there will be significant advancements in the world of batteries and a wider range of models on offer, including the hotly anticipated affordable sub $25,000 model. What do you think Project Bobcat could involve? Or similarly, what do you believe the future of Tesla holds? Let us know in the comments below. We're also keen to hear your experiences from behind the wheel of the company's electric cars, so do feel free to share these with our community.